Welcome back to AOC RDA TV. I'm here at the first night of trading on the uh, 2nd of July and now in front of me uh, is Andy Peaks. Andy, uh, welcome back. Uh, good summer? Yeah, good summer so far. Thanks, John. Um, not a massive break, um, probably for the first team. Obviously, my 16s went on quite a lot longer, so I've not had weeks off, but no, it's fine. All good. Let's talk about the 16s because I know uh, the club uh, very proud of what they've done. Tell us a little bit about some of the success. Uh, yeah, they've won, well, two national trophies, really, so they won the league, travelled all around the country for that. Um, and then in another competition, the best of the best, they went to the Aces tournament uh, a couple of weekends ago and won that as well. So, yeah, really pleased with them. And so we've had them since a lot of them in 12, 13. Um, and they, they are the future, a lot of them. So a lot of them are playing the 18s this year, broke the scholarships, and, yeah, certainly ones to look for. Let's turn back to the first team. Um, important night, and I think you've got a lot of people here on trial. Just let's talk about the ones who've uh, resigned. A lot of last season's squad have resigned, and of course, three players back on contract. Yeah, no, delighted to get the boys on contract to start with. Obviously, Liam's been on contract a little while. Um, Alex and Zach, for me, were fantastic last year. We brought them in. They did exactly what I expected them to do. Um, so to tie them three up was a massive plus uh, for me and the club. Um, and it shows what you know we're heading in the right direction, and they're happy to do it. I'm happy to get them, so it gives us a good base to start with. Just trying to remember a couple of players we do know who won't be with us, Jack Westbrook and obviously Ben Diamond. Yeah, Jack Westbrook's obviously moved on and we wish him well. He's good for the club. He had a couple of good seasons here. Um, he decided it was the right time to move, so that's not a problem. Um, ben Diamond's going travelling to Australia for the well next six, nine months, I'm not sure. So again, he goes with our best wishes um, and, and as, as a club we move on. And looking at the, obviously the retain list, which will announce this week the players who signed off from last season. What do you need to strengthen the squad? Where do you think the what are you what are you looking for? Um, I'm happy to say most of them have decide they're going to come back. There's none I desperately want to get rid of. Some I've told need to do a little, a little bit better, perhaps, and improve. Um, but they've all come back with a good attitude tonight. A lot of them have been working hard, so that's good. Um, we'll have a look at them. Um, obviously, we need a few more attacking options. Um, everyone knows that. Uh, everyone also knows they're not the. They're probably the most expensive players to try and get in, um, and it's got to be the right sort of player. Um, I don't just want mercenaries, I want ones who are going to buy into what we're trying to do at the club. So we've got some lads to look at on trial, we've got others I'm still talking to and I'm confident by the start of the season we'll have a couple of additions that are going to make us even stronger. And a couple of players came in quite late last season, Sam Johnson and Ben Akai, That's uh, they'll get pre-season as well? Yeah, no, they're like having two new players really. I mean, John Dean's got a lot more to offer. He was in and out a little bit, didn't get enough opportunities last year for various reasons. Um, and there's others like that really, so I'm looking forward to seeing them you know, have, have a good chance like Sam Johnson and Ben have good good to say because they sort of came in because we'd had quite a lot of success it was difficult to get a minutes but then at times they showed they're a bit a bit different to what we've got and we're all delighted to see Ben Farrell here it's been a difficult summer for him and then have you had uh, words with him I've spoke to him regularly yeah we've stayed in touch I like Ben I've got a lot of time for him he's very respectful for me um, he's always been great with me so I was disappointed to hear you know how things came out for him but the way things are he's, he's really dealt with it really well and I think he's come out of it with a lot of applaud it's really other ways come across and hopefully it's stood him a better place and he's helped a lot of others so delighted to see him come back again I think we like having a new player and uh, the fixture list looks pretty good doesn't it Leighton Orient and Northampton coming to Hayden Road yeah no we've got some good friendlies um, we spent a lot of time me Stace and others at the club trying to arrange the right fixtures and I think we got there in the end um, so yeah we look forward to that we wanted to mix it up a little bit not have the same teams all the time but equally we don't want to do loads of travelling as well this time of the year so it's, it's difficult but we've got there in the end so it hopefully it'll give us a chance for people to see the new players, me to have a look at what we've got um, and it all stands in good stead to start the season. We know as a board how difficult it is for you with the, the marketplace, should we call it the marketplace and what's been going on and we've seen some strength in Tamworth, Nuneaton and, uh, and Starbridge. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tough league, isn't it? we know that. And this time of the year, loads of clubs offer silly money and promise things they perhaps can't deliver. We've never done that as a club. I've never done that as a person. So we only tell players what we can give them and we don't lie, we don't go back on it. So it makes it difficult to get people in, if you like. But I think over the seasons, it's proved that honesty goes a long way and you end up with a lot of lads who want to do the right thing and work hard for the club and me. Um, and that's more important. And that'll be the same this year. Yeah, it's going to be really tough. There are some big hitters in this league. Um, but, you know, if we do the right things and prepare right and be organised and like we always do, like we've done the last few years, we'll, we'll have no problems. And uh, looking forward to cup ties as well. Yeah, and cup ties, we were a little bit unlucky last year. I think we were pretty tough draws when we got beaten. Um, too early for my liking, so that's something we want to try and do well. But cups are like that. You can get good draws or bad draws. Hopefully we'll get some kind draws, possibly even one at home would be fantastic. Um, and we'll, 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 you know, we'll deal whatever we get.
Andy, I'm going to go now because uh, you said I was very miserable, but I'm cheered up just seeing your smiling face. You're never miserable, John. That's one thing you're not. <laughs> welcome back to AFC RDU TV. I'm now here with Zach Reynolds. Zach, uh, welcome back to uh, pre-season training and uh, you signed a contract. I have, yes. I'm glad I'm pleased to sign a contract for Diamonds. Looking forward to the season. Let's go back 12 months. I think actually you came as one of the trialists last year, didn't you? Yeah, I did come as a trialist, a bit nervous at the first. I uh, didn't start the first three games because I went on holiday, but got the start on the team and then kept it and I was pleased with it. Any holidays booked so far? Uh, yes, end of July, but I don't miss the season. I don't miss in the season, just pre-season <laughs> games. But I miss Northampton, which I'm gutted about. Yeah, no, not like another fullback we can think of. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so obviously you, uh, you've you um, staying for another season. Um, your thoughts about the club, your first season, did you enjoy it? Uh, yes, really enjoyed it. Club's good set up. Everyone's really welcoming and friendly. Um, Backroom staff and stuff like that just make you feel so welcome. They do things professionally here. Um, at non-league level as well, it's very good. And playing in front of a good set of supporters as well. Oh yeah, can't forget about the supporters. They're there, away games and home games, always cheering and just supporting us the whole way there. Was it a difficult decision? Do you have many other offers? Uh, I had a few other offers, but enjoyed my season here so much that there's no reason for me to leave, starting week in, week out, enjoying football. So there's no reason for change. And there's no uh, golf tournament this year? No, no, no golf tournament this year. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Tell everybody where you were. What, for the golf tournament? Yeah, you went to the... Uh, uh, I went to Royal Liverham for the... Was it the Women's British Open, I think it was? went to the Ryder Cup, didn't you? Oh, the Ryder Cup as well, yes. Went to that as well. That was really good. Enjoyed that. But yeah, no, that was really good. Really good experience to go there with work. Okay. All right, mate. And uh, I think Andy wants you back already, so I'll let you go. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Zach. And now here with uh, club skipper uh, Liam Domin. Liam, uh, I think we had this conversation every year, don't we? And you don't like pre-season training, do you? Tell me a player that does. But no, it's, it's good to be back. Obviously, we've, we've had a good break. We've all recovered from which was a pretty hard season for first time in that league. But... Yeah, I think everyone's come back and looking at it, we're raring to go again. Yeah, I mean, the season obviously faded near the end and good good results at Tamworth and that was to build on and I think a lot of new faces here tonight as well. Yeah, obviously we've lost a couple by the looks of it, but yeah, new faces, a, a couple are doing really well to be honest, but it's hard to tell in training until we, until we get to the games, we'll, we'll know what they're about then. And uh, you obviously signed a contract and delighted, obviously, two of your uh, back four also signed contracts. Yeah, most definitely, I think... Throughout the team, we defend well as a team. It's not just the back four, but obviously your foundations are there when you've got a good back four. And it's not just the back four. We've got defenders all, all in the squad, obviously. And uh, we're all hoping to get that shirt at the start of the season. So, yeah, we know we've got, uh, we've got to dig in in pre-season and work hard. But I think, like you say, if you've got a settled back four and back five for your keeper, then it's, it's a good start. There's been a lot of movement. We talked talk to Pete about the marketplace and uh, a lot of teams strengthening. I think uh, a lot of people have gone from our uh, near neighbours to teams like Tamworth and Nuneaton and uh, Starbridge. It's going to be a tough league again, isn't it? I think it'll be a lot tougher than last year, to be honest, with, this, with the teams that have come down and, and I think a couple have moved around. I think it'll be a lot tougher, but personally, I think we play better against better teams and uh, hopefully... We can, uh, we can start off the season like we did last year and come Christmas time we'll be in and around the playoffs again and, and hopefully go one better this year and get in them. Final question, how's the family? Yeah, all good. We had a, obviously a bit of uh, trouble at the end of last year but no, it's, it's, it's all good and we're all settled in nice and now things seem to have settled down so yeah, bring on the football season. Are you getting more sleep than Tom Lorraine? I'm getting a lot more sleep. She sleeps 12 hours straight so yeah, all good. I'll let you go, mate. Yeah, some sleep. I don't need love.